my dear students and the viewers i welcome you to the class 5 of convection force convection in particular so in this class we'll discuss about navier stokes equation so before speaking about navier stokes equation let us have a quick revise of class number 4 where we have spoken regarding differential convection equation there are only three equations right and we are done with this continuity equation is not it so in this continuity equation this is the final equation we got do u by do x plus do u by do y equals 0 in case of three dimension we'll add one more velocity in the third direction right and this was the diagram now you can consider the same diagram even for navier stokes equation and in this class for understanding purpose i have used this sheet so where i have mentioned that law of conservation of mass it has led to continuity equation navier stokes equation was something like you know it's a continuation part or application part of newton's second law of motion which says conservation of momentum right this is what i have mentioned so we'll start the derivation of navier stokes equation with the help of f equals m into a now this is about poster recap or revision of class number 4 so now we'll speak about class number 5 navier stokes equation so we'll start this derivation from f equals m into a new from newton's second law of motion call this as first equation right so before writing any derivations of if you are refer to any of my videos please don't forget to define all the terms to define the diagram and all the basic things i am skipping you need to have that much of sense to write it so that you should not lose marks in examination fine so now here f equals m into a somehow if i can substitute the values of f m and a i'll get the rest of equation as simple as that okay now let us speak about one by one if i say mass i'll just take density into volume because density has unit kg per meter cube and volume is in terms of meter cube so that meter cube and meter cube gets cancelled i'll left out with kg that is mass fine coming to the acceleration i have used suffix x that means i am taking acceleration in the direction of x okay acceleration in the direction of x because this is the direction of fluid flow right the arrow mark shows this is the direction of fluid flow that means acceleration will be there in the direction of the flow of a fluid rate of change of displacement is velocity so in the direction of velocity you will get acceleration okay so we are taking ax okay so it is du by dt that means u is velocity in the direction of x so rate of change of this velocity rate in the sense with respect to time so du by dt is rate of change of velocity that itself is acceleration now coming to this term here the forces are broadly classified into surface force and body force the examples for this body force are like you know self weight of an object we can speak about mass over here which is responsible for weight and which also depends on gravity so gravitational force is one of the example for body forces fine any electrical energy possessed by the body that also comes under body force okay coming to surface force well, you can imagine a fluid being passed in some of the pipe say consider this cap imagine this as a pipe so now if i make a fluid to flow from one end to the other end this is the cross section so from the center force will be applied towards the walls right that means the pressure is exerted on the wall what is that pressure we will define it like force per unit area so if i multiply multiply pressure and area pressure exerted by this fluid on the surface into cross sectional area of this pipe i get the force such so as example for surface force the name itself it says the forces which are being acting on the surface so for this you need to consider a control surface uh, but in case of continuity equation we spoke regarding control volume over here okay but he, this is a control volume over here but here we are speaking about control surface and hence the dash of p is opposite okay if this is a small elemental area from the same diagram from the same diagram this is small elemental area i have been taking so there is one particle beyond and after this so that particle also exerts pressure on this particular area particular particle right so there is a pressure exerted from 
this particle over this or I can say this particle over this so combination effect so I have taken this like opposite directions okay so whenever I take a algebraic summation I say this minus this as simple as that okay coming to the other surfaces if there is a pressure over here this is regarding y direction right if I speak about y direction the concept of shear stress comes into picture there is a velocity gradient as a result of which will get a reduction in the flow velocity and that is an effect of the force acting in between the layers which is called as viscosity because of which we there is a shear stress right all these points you can come across in Newton's law of viscosity I hope that has been explained to you in class number two okay, you can go back to that video okay so there is a shear stress along this y direction so on these two surface I'll take shear stress on these two surface I'll take pressure so that I'll get force equation okay summation of those two will be this force and now we'll go ahead with the equations m is density into volume or is density volume is say dx into dy into 1 that 1 is nothing but dz along with dz I have considered unit dimensions okay this is mass coming to u this kindly remember u is a function of x and y that means du will be differentiation of this particular function with respect to x and also differentiation of this particular function with respect to y in other words I can say the word partial differentiation so du is a change in velocity it will be dou u by dou x into dx plus dou u by dou y into dy okay this is the partial differentiation okay so now if I need acceleration I need to get du by dt it is rate of change of velocity so divide this by dt so I'll get dt over here in this parameter in the same equation fine is that clear so now how does it implies how will he, will I get this one in the sense here you need to make a note I'm using a black ink pen over here this for understanding say dx by dt what is this dx is change in the position dt is time that means there is a displacement dt with respect to time and speaking that means I can use the word rate so if I read this it is like a rate of change of position right rate of displacement is nothing but velocity if it is x it is along the direction u dx along dx we have velocity u and along dy along y direction we have velocity v so with the help of this kind of substitution I can say dx by dt is u dy by dt is v this is how I got this equation so this is equation 1 and this is equation number 2 now coming back to the force you need to have algebraic summation over here okay this is the shear stress into area this is the shear stress into area pressure into area pressure into area because if I multiply pressure into area I'll get force if I multiply stress with area I'll get force so now say T plus dou T by dou Y into dy whole thing into what is the area over here dx into 1 on y surface I'll take dx into 1 z and also this surface right I'll show it like this uh, you can just imagine a 3d figure say we have a 3d diagram like this say if this is the face what is the area for this dy into dx if this is the face it is dy into dz if this is the phase dx into dy right isn't it this is what you are speaking about dy is there so for this surface I'll get dx into 1 are you getting it dx into 1 as simple as that here itself you can say dx into 1 this dz this itself I am taking it like 1 this top surface dx into 1 okay so this plus this actually this minus this shear stress forces will be on opposite direction so this minus this in a sense t will be cancelled i will be left out with only this part so dou t by dou y into dy into area 
I am skipping just very simple mathematical steps, but you need to write it in the examination. This minus this plus this minus this. Okay, so now minus. Why is this minus? I'll explain it here. It is actually plus p plus p plus of do p by do x. Sorry, sorry p minus of this. So minus into plus this will become minus. So plus p minus p cancels. I will left out with minus do p by do x into dx. Okay, that's what I have taken. Minus do p by do x into dx. Into area for this one will be dy into 1. So now from these two terms, take dx into dy as a common factor. I will be left out with do t by do y minus do p by do x. And now here, what was the, what is this do t by do y? t, what is this t? It is a shear stress, which we have learned in Newton's law of viscosity. See, we use the letter tau for shear stress. Tau was proportional to dv by dy, that is velocity gradient. Proportional design was removed with the help of a constant called as mu. Right, what is this mu? It is a viscosity. So here, t equals mu into, instead of velocity along y direction, we are taking it along x. Okay, so it will be dou u, that is the only change. So now write the same thing over here. Instead of t, mention it. Okay. Now, mu is a constant. So, it will become dou square u by dou y square. Taking mu as a constant. I will get dou square u by dou y square minus dou p by dou. Similar. Same thing is carried forward. This is equation number 3. Finally, substitute this equation number 3, equation number 2 and equation number 1. That is, f equals m into a substitute all these things in this first equation so if i substitute dx into dy into 1 okay will be cancelled with dx into dy into 1 equals on both side because it is this into this so i'll get this term into rho equals this parameter right this term over here into rho equals this parameter so this is your navier stokes equation or I can also use the word conservation of momentum. Okay, it is momentum conservation equation or it is Navier-Stokes equation. Kindly remember, just you need to elaborate f equals m into a so that the derivation will be completed. Fine. I hope you have understood the concept. Thank you.